to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And today I'm here with a review of a movie that hit theaters this past weekend. It's time to log back in and get on that computer because my review of the 2018 horror thriller, Unfriended Dark Web, coming up now. After finding a laptop in the lost and found at the coffee shop he works at, Matthias is working on creating an app in order to help him and his girlfriend, who's deaf, be able to communicate with each other easier. That night is also game night for Matthias and his friends, who are all playing from a Skype call in different locations. While chatting, Matthias stumbles upon some disturbing videos from the laptop's former owner, and to his surprise, he's contacted from the owner who wants his computer back. Matthias and his friends are soon in danger, as if anyone logs off or calls the police, Matthias's girlfriend will die. So what did I think of Unfriended Dark Web? I thought it's a mediocre horror thriller flick. I enjoyed the first Unfriended, which many seemed either to like or hate, and thought it was rather creative. Here we have the same style of film as the audience sees the computer screen of the main character throughout the entire runtime. The first film dealt with a supernatural element affecting the characters, whereas here it delves into the world of the dark web without any paranormal connections. I feel like if you have seen the first Unfriended, you'll know where the film is headed, as it follows the same kind of structure, but with different things happening to these characters. There are a couple of freaky things that happen here and there, and of course we get a few jump scares as the antagonist begins to threaten the group of friends. Considering the movie deals with hackers and dangerous things online, it makes you wonder if something like this could happen. Maybe not as extreme as it gets here, but some things could make you feel uneasy. Speaking of the hackers, there are some ridiculous things that happen that make them seem more like magicians or wizards than internet creeps. If you can buy into that, though, you'll probably enjoy it. Some of the reveals towards the finale can be eye-roll inducing, and I also found myself laughing out loud intentionally a couple to unintentionally a couple of times. Of course, the characters all do some really dumb things throughout that will cause you to face palm hard, and a lot of the surprises you can see coming a mile away. The characters themselves are quite cliche as well, and we get the usual type of horror movie friends in the supporting cast. I wasn't huge on the ending either, which is actually one of two possible endings. It sounds like everyone who got the ending that I got would have preferred the other. Yes, the movie actually pulls a clue, and depending on what theater or showing you go to, you might see a different outcome at the end. The cast stars Colin Woodell as Matthias O'Brien, the young man who acquired the laptop and got a lot more than he bargained for, Betty Gabriel as Nari, one of Matthias' friends who's just got engaged, Rebecca Rittenhouse as Serena, Nari's new fiancé, Andrew Lees as Damon, the most tech-savvy of the friends who's puzzled by what's going on, and Stephanie Nugueras as Amaya, Matthias' deaf girlfriend who's in serious danger. Unfriended Dark Web have some, has some interesting elements, but as it goes on, it becomes predictable, preposterous, and lackluster. I'm going to give it the rating of... Meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram, at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.